I think you, you should feel empowered because the information, most of it came from you. So when we're talking about collecting health information, we're talking about listening to a patient and really hearing and understanding what they're telling us in, in terms of what they're experiencing from a symptomology standpoint uh, and what that, how they may express that to us. And then how, what we hear when they say, you know, I'm not getting a lot of sleep and I am really having a hard time focusing at work and I worry about my children all the time. So from a clinical standpoint, what we're hearing is that you're suffering, right? And more, you know, we can go into that a little bit deeper in terms of what exactly you're suffering from. But that suffering is what's important to you, right? That, that's disrupting your daily life. And so we're going to take that information and try and learn more about you and how we can personalize care to really meet your needs. So the type of information we're talking about collecting is really information that you're giving us because you're interested in, in getting help. Okay, perfect. So let's... And that information is... Um, they're in available through claims data and through prescription data, but as is typical in the health industry, we're awash in data and we don't often use it effectively. So the secret source, if you like, for AIR is that um, they have, through 16 years now, yep. done the pattern matching and recognition well before artificial intelligence was ever there, but now with the assistance of machine learning, mm -hmm. you can scale these patterns, look for correlations, and actually identify high risk individuals considerably better and then provide that targeted therapy uh, in a timely manner. And maybe even before they're high risk, right? Mm. That's the hope. I mean, I think the most meaningful and powerful thing about the technology and what it can do is that you're potentially stopping a catastrophic event from happening. You're preventing a person who is maybe feeling lonely and um, disengaged and a little bit down from ever having to have an inpatient admission to a psychiatric unit or ever having to lose a job because they couldn't stop drinking. Or, um, so we're talking about catching a disease so much sooner in the continuum that all the suffering that we can save is really what inspires us to, to keep going. <laughs>